Welcome back to The Past is Alive. Thank you for joining us tonight as we indulge in some modern cards with one of my favorite designs from my favorite, one of my favorite sets of cards of all time, the 92 Bowman design on 2020 Bowman Heritage. These were exclusive on Tops.com, came out on January 15th. So, of course, I had to grab a box to embrace and partake in this legendary and uh, one-of-a-kind design. But before we rip into this hobby box of Heritage 2020, we're going to open something that I've been after for quite a while, and I have not been able to find any boxes of Topps Holiday. And uh, a guy by the name of Jeff Dyer, a.k.a. Pops Dyer on YouTube, hopefully I'm pronouncing that correctly, sent me a box of Topps Holiday. So thanks a lot, Jeff. That was uh, very, very kind of you. I really appreciate that. I've not got to open any of these at all, so... Uh, Pretty excited to see what we may be able to find. Shout out to you, Pops. That was very cool of you. I did not have to do that at all. I looked at, I think, three Walmarts yesterday while I was out scouring thrift stores for a bunch of junk that I don't need, and I did not come across any cards at all. Like I said before, didn't even find any sticker collection. That's how pathetic it was. So... Let's see what we can pull out of here. I know you can get uh, one relic or an autograph in every mega box. Austin Farmer's in the house. It, has, it says, here's a super chat in case you hit an Adele. Roll on the floor laughing. Austin, thanks, man. Good to have you with us. Cheering us on. I appreciate that. Check out Austin Farmer's channel for all your intel on who is up and coming. Corey posted uh, a link to his channel. Ten cards per pack in 2020 holiday. This feels like... Um, I don't know. I, I almost feel like there was a relic in there. Joe's Card Corral's in the house. Joker 68, ripping for Ripkins. Thank you guys for being here. I'm sure you guys have all seen it here. Or, or seen it elsewhere before you've seen it here. Check that out, though. Kyle Lewis rookie card in the very first pack. That is definitely a banger right there. Pretty sick. And I'm looking forward to seeing if we can find any uh, short prints in here. Justin Verlander, Xander Bogarts. Jordan Alvarez, two freaking big rookies in the first pack. Awesome. Jordan and Kyle Lewis, Brandon Lau, both going to my rookie box. Matt Chapman, Wilson Contreras, and Brandon Nemo ends that pack out. Joe's Card Corral says, there's a baseball game I play. You can use a candy cane bat. <laughs> the Jordan was a short print. Was it really? Oh, wow, that was. Good call, big son. You have Santa lurking in the background there. That's freaking awesome. Even better. Thanks for pointing that out. I didn't even notice. Very, very cool. I'd like to find myself some uh, holiday chrome, too. I haven't even seen those yet. Did anybody even open those on YouTube yet? There's Tanaka. I feel like those are probably really hard to get your hands on. Ryan Brown. And here is what looks to be our relic card. Ben Zobrist. In the second pack, that kind of really sucked the fun out of that. But uh, we're off to a good start here. Another Yurdon Alvarez, this time the regular base card. Ben Zobrist um, relic card here. That's pretty cool. I opened one box of these in 2019 and pulled the Buster Posey relic. There is a Yurdon rookie card. Rios and Tony Gonsolin. So some nice rookies already surfacing in pack two. <laughs> Corey says... Corey and his inappropriate potty mouth get the ornament out of the box. Well, I didn't forget about the ornament, man. I just put it off to the side for now, but since Corey is uh, throwing a temper tantrum, we will pull it out now. You know I appreciate you, Corey. We've got a Pete Alonzo. Pete Alonzo ornament. Very nice. These are one per box as well. Put that in the background for good measure. Dirk Remington's in the house. Says, I need suggestions for 12 Omen cards for a project. Thank you, Dirk. Are you looking for Omens for my channel or your own personal Omens? Shane Beaver leading off. Mookie Betts. Check out Dirk Remington also, along with Ripping for Ripkins. Corey, post a freaking link to your channel, man. Stop being so modest. Javi Baez, Matt Carpenter. Let me know if you spot any more short prints. Is that, is that a big Twinkie in the background? Is that a short print? Yamaguchi, Jake Arietta, Corey Seeger, Aroldis Chapman. That's a big Twinkie. 
What movie, what character? <laughs> Dennis Cook Calendar. Well, Dirk, you'll be happy to know that I have that sitting right next to me to reference whenever I need it. Dirk sent me this a little while back. Dennis Cook Calendar. This will be on a t-shirt very soon. The, the official 2021 calendar. Beautiful. Paul says, Sabo Hudecki's going down the list of bad omens. I like your choices. Trent Grisham rookie card is a nice one, too. Tim Anderson, John Means, Votto. And we have some sort of, I don't know, short print, I guess, of Nico Horner. Um, I don't know. I guess that would be the short print. Is that sleeve? Very interesting. It's funny that um, the Jordan wasn't flipped upside down, but that is cool, though. Nico Horner rookie card. Nice one, too. Altuve, Carlos Correa, and Freddie Freeman. Nice box so far, though. Christmas lights short print. I'm getting better at spotting those, I guess. Gary Sanchez, Marcel Ozuna. Curious to see where he's going to end up. Tatis, Trey Mancini, Willie Adamas, JBJ, Jesus Lazardo, rookie card. Another nice one there. And look at this. Bryce Harper and Randy Rosarena in his Rays uniform. That is freaking awesome. That's definitely a nice big rookie card hit in here. I have not even seen that one yet. Very, very cool. This box is... Uh, Amazing. Austin Farmer sent says uh, sent it through the mail to Plunk. If I get a return, you know it's going to be in your P.O. box. <laughs> I would not have it any other way, man. Michael Chavis. Carter Keyboom. Bo Bichette rookie card. Very nice. One of the best rookie cards out of the set. Dragon Fan Tim says, I need to get your address later. I got you a copy of the complete set of Heathcliff today. Oh, man. Thank you, Tim. That is freaking awesome. We were just talking about that recently. Complete series of Heathcliff. I think it's like 15 bucks for every episode. Nick Castellanos. That was very, very nice of you, man. Jack Flaherty ends that pack. And he hate Don Ross is the best I could do. <laughs> That's fine with me. You guys remember Heathcliff? I used to love that show. The super snazzy 50s intro music. Uh, we have four packs of this box left. JS says, if you pull Luis Robert, I want it. And yeah, we have not seen him yet. Nick Anderson, Mike Moustakis, LeMayhew, Aaron Judge, Nolan Arenado, Trevor Story, Frankie Lindor, Gavin Lux rookie card, another nice one there. No short print, though, I don't think. And Bregman, Heathcliff Slocum. <laughs> oh, this chat is hilarious. Brendan Rogers. Pete Alonzo, Gold Cup, Jorge Soler, Matt Olson. There's Colton Wong, rookie card. Juan Soto, a nice one. Kevin Newman, Chris Paddock, and Brendan Rogers. I like these cards a lot, and they are uh, super inexpensive, too, if you can actually find them. Well, super inexpensive once all the flipper prices go down on eBay. <laughs> Corey. Oh, that is too funny. That is very true, though, Manny Machado. <laughs> it's very, very true. Marcus Stroman, Guriel Jr., and Dustin May, rookie card. Lots of nice rookies to go in the rookie box from this mega box. Pops Dyer, thank you so much, man. Andrew McCutcheon and our very last pack here. Rob M says, I didn't realize these were a big deal. I was at Walmart for NyQuil one random weekday, and they were stocking this. That took one look and assumed it was gimmicky and wouldn't hold value. I feel like they definitely can hold some value. Like, if you go back and look at uh, 2019 holiday, they're about, like, double, they're like 40 or 50 bucks on eBay. So, and these are about 35 to 40 bucks shipped. So, the people that are flipping these and paying, like, 22 bucks per box, they're not really making much money off of them. Brennan McKay, rookie. Wong, rookie again. Aaron Judge. Nick Solak, rookie. The short prints definitely do sustain value. Two Brennan McKay rookies in the same pack. Patrick Corbin, Urias, Kevin Biggio, second year, Bruce Star Gratterall's rookie card, and Eloy Jimenez ends the box. But uh, very, very nice. Rosa Reina rookie card, two Jordans, Jordan short print. That was freaking awesome. 
Jeff D, big shout out to you, man. Thank you again. You did not have to do that. It was very nice of you. Can't wait to add those to the rookie box. And um, hopefully we'll all come across more of those down the road as soon as the flippers uh, make their make enough of their money buying them and flipping them, making like $3 profit off each one. We're going to Bowman Heritage, 92 Bowman Design. Love that set. I will forever love it. We have Justin W. up first. We've got 24 packs in here, 10 cards per pack. And of course, if you guys know me at all, you know I save all my boxes. One of these days I'm going to show you uh, my tower of empty boxes. It's getting pretty big. I can't find any boxes either, man, so don't feel bad. I don't look that hard, but uh, Holiday was one I was actually trying to hunt down because I just think they're cool. They're not expensive. You're not going to destroy your wallet buying a mega box of those, and they're still fun. And the short prints are really cool, too. I like them. Criterion Racer says, in Cadillac Cats. <laughs> Lee, thanks, man. I <laughs> appreciate that. Check out Lee. I think he posted a video yesterday. Posting more videos more frequently, Lee. Doing a great job with your channel. Around 60 subs. Corey will post a link to his channel. Check him out. Always good to have you with us. And we have the classic 92 Bowman pack design. I love these. If you want to buy a box of 92 Bowman, they are close to 400 bucks. But the first six packs are going to Justin W. Ah, these are beautiful. Love them. Put this off in the background. You guys all know what rookies we're looking for. You've seen it everywhere else, and you'll see it here last. That should be my new motto. See it here last. All right, Justin, good luck to you. There's all kinds of freaking parallels and everything else in here. I'm not going to go over those because that's what I don't like about newer cards. Um, Two Chrome Prospect cards in every pack. It's a 150-card base set. The first 100 cards are rookies and veterans, and the last 50 are prospects. Uh, autograph odds are pretty crazy. Parallels, blah, blah, blah. Let's get started. <laughs> Paul else says, imagine if it was 91 Bowman Heritage showing to a case break. I probably would, man. I was researching this. If, if Bowman Heritage made 91 Bowman design, I couldn't find them anywhere. Uh, because that is one, I was like, i got to get a box of those now. I never really paid much attention to Heritage. I never really cared for the Topps Heritage. Bowman Heritage I never really paid much attention to until now, until I saw these. And I was like, I have to get a box of those. Nick Madrigal, Kevin Newman, look at that. Beautiful 92 Bowman design. I freaking love it. The backs are identical. Very nice. First card is prospect card, Nick Madrigal. Kevin Newman, Alex Kriloff, Drew Waters. Ah, oh, I love these. They are awesome. Austin Nola rookie card. And Heinz or Hins. I, I will not have heard of some of these prospect guys. Or one of our gold foil cards or silver foil cards. Reese. And Forrest Whitley might be a short print flipped upside down. I couldn't tell you, Justin. You probably know better than me. CJ Abrams and Francisco Mejia. And Joe's card crosses gummy bears <laughs> bouncing here and there and everywhere. Oh, man. Name drop. Joe's card corral. Thank you, and thank you for bringing that to my attention. I used to love Disney's gummy bears. It was, I think it premiered in 1986, I want to say, but I used to watch it all the time. Super cheesy, corny theme song, but I freaking love that show so much. And it was, it was on for, was it maybe seven seasons? I used to watch it all the time. Really cheesy theme song, though. Like they couldn't have done any better, but it was still at the same time. It was, uh, it was catchy. <laughs> I liked the song, but listening to it now is <laughs> something else. Incarnacion, Luis Garcia. Showed a noisy rookie card. I'm trying to keep up with this chat. Very bad song. Yeah, the 80s and 90s had some very memorable intro music. Dylan Cease rookie card is a nice one. Casey Mize. I guess one of these is um, always going to be flipped upside down for whatever reason. Not really sure why. Estevan Florial. Two Chrome cards per pack, prospect Chrome cards, and Brian Reynolds. Did I ever watch Bobby's World? Of course I did. I used to love that show. 
show was super. Boba Chet rookie card, next pack, very nice. Show was super 90s. His bro older brother Derek had like that um, dirty rat tail. And Uncle Ted giving everybody noogies. I, I love that show. There's Vladdy Guerrero. Yeah, Bobby's World was awesome. It's a shame that they never made that on DVD. Never made it. Grant Little, Evan White. Logan Allen, rookie. Wesley says, braided belts and colored striped shirts are the short prints. And we have our first parallel, I believe, here. Um, black and white parallel, maybe. Paper? I don't know. Yeah, black and white parallel. One of three packs. So those aren't all that rare. rare. James Bond Jr. I never got into that show. Nova, we have a, a numbered card here. Aaron Shortridge, 87 out of 99. Check that out. Pretty freaking nice. And followed up by Boba Shett, rookie. They, they definitely reused that, uh, that exact same photo several times. Identical to several other cards that he has. Life of Louie was awesome. Louie Armstrong. Short Ridge, numbered out of 99. I'm trying to get my dirty, greasy, oily fingerprints on these. Forgot my gloves tonight, guys. <laughs> I'm Louie Anderson. <laughs> Rally Green, Mateo. Munoz. Rookie card. He can throw some heat. Ramos. Justin Dunn, rookie. De La Cruz. Tarang. Nolan Jones. The other prospect card. Levine. And Eddie Rosario. Austin said, I've started doing some scouting reports over prospects for this website. I'm here to help John out. I could use all the help that I can get, man. I really could, Austin. Bonkers. I used to watch Bonkers before school, like every single morning. I want to say it was on at 7.30 a.m. So I would catch my bus eh, like around 8 o'clock. So I would watch it up until I went to school. Even recess. I watched that, too. But I was starting to get a little bit older by the time recess came on. But I, I still thought like the concept of the show was cool. Logan Gilbert, Shohei Otani. <laughs> Dragon Fan Tim says Bobby Bobby's World a complete series, 105 bucks on Amazon. Really? It must be a bootleg because I don't think any company actually uh, released that. Grayson Rodriguez, Camposano, Trevor Story, and a black and white of Bryce Harper. Pretty freaking sweet. Dave M says missed opportunity not having the prospects pose awkwardly and. Uh, Oddly colorful button-down and polo shirts. That's the only thing we're missing here is the spring training photos. Really made that set what it is. Jonathan India. Bobby Witt Jr. Chrome Prospect. That is definitely a nice one. Very nice. Xander Bogarts. And Kiebert. Doug or Rugrats. See, I never watched those because I didn't have cable until like the year... Didn't have cable until like the year 2003 or something like that. So my entire TV experience was all like <clears throat> Fox Kids and maybe some Warner Brothers in there. But Fox Kids had everything good that you needed, like Batman the Animated Series. I could still watch Ghostbusters. I could still watch X-Men and everything else. But yeah, I missed out on all kinds of stuff like Pete and Pete. I used to walk down to my friend's house on Saturday night to watch Are You Afraid of the Dark? That was like a real treat. Last pack for Justin. Tavares. Shane Bieber. <laughs> Tyler Freeman. McConnell. Aaron Judge. Sixto Sanchez. Amaya. And Anthony Volpe. Autograph. On card auto. He's got a nice signature. Check that out. I don't really know too much about him. Yankees prospect. Check it out. Austin Farmer. We could use your expertise right about now, man. I could not really tell you much about him. Wander Franco follows him up, though. But very nice autograph in the very last pack of the first stack for Justin W. His very first break with us. Justin, thanks for buying in, man. Um, appreciate you. And hopefully that auto will end up um, being a pretty big name. Solid prospect. I'm glad you guys are on top of this because I don't know. Good way to end the very first stack, though. I'll tell you that much. Wander Franco definitely is a good one. 
Cena Collectibles, I'm looking forward to his first Tops rookie card release. Mark Wagner, what's up, man? The next six packs. Uh, if I can fish him out of here. Now let's take these off first. Four. If I get my fat fingers in there. There we go. All right. Six. Austin says, I don't th see him doing anything great. Well, you never know, but I appreciate your input. His autos are decent in value, jumping back and forth between you and, bro and my brother. I saw Eric was live tonight, too, so I figured that uh, that might suck the life out of this heritage break. But uh, I appreciate you guys for being in here. You could always play them at the same time. Put one on your TV and one on your phone. Sausage fingers. First pack in for CNM Collectibles. I don't think he's in here. But uh, I normally don't open newer stuff. But I couldn't pass on the 92 design. It's too freaking cool. I love it so much. Luis Robert rookie card. Very nice. First pack for CNM. Check it out. That is one I'm going to have to pick up at some point. He also has a rookie Bowman rookie card in 2020. Or I guess it's regular 2020 Bowman. Pache. Hanser Alberto. Black and white. Bobby Dahlbeck. And check this out. A numbered Nico Holses, Holsizer, 7 out of 199. Probably butchered that name, but uh, at least I'm honest about it. <laughs> Some of these prospects, I have no idea. Nico, 7 out of 199. Brittany, what's happening? Pete Alonzo ends that pack. <laughs> Robbie Dahlbeck, too bad it's not Robbie Blumkin. Yeah, if only it was Robbie Blumkin. If only it was. So I skimmed the pack, just so I don't forget. Robel Garcia, Seth Beer, Shane Boz, Christian Javier, Jazz Chisholm, Eddie Rosario, Shane Boz again, Marquez, Foil, Bobby Bradley, Rookie Card, and Chris Valamont. <laughs> Scotty Arms, is that really true? That's pretty funny if so. He's got a nice signature. Yes. <laughs> Corey says there's someone at the door. I just watched that uh, a little bit ago. The Southwest Breaks. Man, was that a spectacle. Crazy. Jonathan India. Mookie Betts. It was crazy how many views that video, those videos have. The people that re-uploaded that Southwest Breaks as a scammer. The one had like 83,000 views. Ronaldo Hernandez. Azale, rookie card. Gunnar Henderson. Eric Pardino. Mason Denneberg. Paul Elsa, I actually know a little about skating though. <laughs> nice. Ryan Rollison. That's sweet though. Yeah, we need Charlie here to help out with this. Brennan Davis in the back of this next pack. Drew Mendoza. There's Bobby again. Some repeats here. Luis Castillo. Nick, Nick Lodolo. Urena. Seth Beer. And we have a printing plate in here. Check that out. Printing plate of Aramis Ottoman. Or Aidman. A name that I'm not real familiar with. You can scold me for that all you want. But check that out. One of one printing plate. Very, very cool. And Brennan Davis ends this pack out. CNM Collectibles, pretty hot stack for you so far. I know you're a rules fan, but uh, that is still pretty freaking sweet, man. One of one printing plate. Check it out. Appreciate the input there, Austin. Two packs left. Actually, three packs left. Kyle Lewis, rookie in the back. This next one, Jesus Lazardo, rookie. Duran, Owen Miller. Cantillo, Diaz, Willie Calhoun, Dylan Carlson. Printing plates are freaking awesome, man. I don't know what the odds of pulling that is. We'll have to check that out. Carlson, Duran, and we have Brady McConnell, 49 on the 75. Uh, yellow parallel of some sort. And Kyle Lewis, rookie. Awesome stack, CM. Let's check out. James Reynolds says, Who is your favorite skater? James, thanks, man. I would say my favorite. 
my favorite for a while has been John Dixon. He skates for Death Wish and a slew of other companies. John Dixon and um, Andrew Reynolds has always been my favorite for as long as I've pretty much been alive. I've an autographed deck of Reynolds from like the early 2001, 2002 hanging on my wall. I got a bunch of autographed uh, merchandise because I've met him in person a couple times. Yeah, j definitely John Dixon probably is my favorite, but Andrew Reynolds will always be up there. Printing plate is one in 2,321. Whoa. That is freaking all. Actually, one in 380. What's the difference? There's two printing plates on here. This is why I don't open newer cards. Because <laughs> I don't know any about them. Andrew Reynolds is one of the greatest to ever do it. I would say. But, uh... There's a lot of uh, there's a lot of dudes that rip out there. Ramon Laureano, second year card. Blake Snell, Joe Ryan, final pack. Max Scherzer, Drew Mendoza, Grant Levine, Aaron Ashby, and there's an Acuna. Dave Emerson, I'm, I've, I assume you've seen Gleam the Cube. I definitely have seen Gleam the Cube. Christian Slater was Christian Slater was set to be big time. I'm not a big Tony Hawk fan. I mean, I was when I was a a little grom back in the late nineties and everyone loved Tony Hawk, but, um, when you first get into it. That's, ah, this is actually, you know what? He has one more pack left. My bad. Cause I skimmed them. Next stack three, six. Actually, no, that was right. Right. Yeah. This next one goes to <laughs> Southwest breaks. Here we are. This next one is going to Jordan P. Yeah, I goofed that up. That was right. We did six packs. We got six here. I'm trying to read these the, the chat as I'm doing this. I feel like a lot of skaters don't care for Tony Hawk for some reason. I just never was in, I was never really into him. Because Tony Hawk's a vert skater, and I just never got into that. Bucky Lassick and Andy McDonald and all those guys. I just I w I'd rather I, w I would rather see someone jump down something or skate like a big handrail or something like that than uh, just some guy doing freaking seven twenties and kickflip indies. Abraham Toro rookie card starts us off for Jordan P. Let's see if we can match the first two stacks. Chris Bryant, Joey Bart, and Jesus Sanchez. Royce Lewis and O'Neill Cruz. Justin Williams says, I wish I would have gotten spot two. Got a pass Shannon Cunha. You definitely had uh that auto was pretty nice, so I don't know what that would go for, but yeah, Gleam the Cube was a good was definitely a good movie. Jason Lee was big time back in the day too. Jason Lee in the blind video days. He was uh poised to be pretty big. Michael Baez, rookie card. He got back into it like years ago and you know, seven, eight years, something like that. Got back into it, bought stereo back, brought it back. Adrian, Adrian Morahone, JJ Blade, Nick Allen, Encarnacion. Yeah, I don't know if um, Jason Lee is still doing anything with it or not. I haven't heard anything about him for a while. George Springer, Hayes and Springer, <laughs> Adrian Moron. <laughs> Big Brother was awesome, man. I don't have any Big Brothers. I wish I did. You can buy them off eBay, like old issues, but they're expensive. My buddies had a few Big Brothers. I never... I don't know why I never had any. I, I was always buying Thrasher back then. Trans World 2 when I first started off. Mauricio Dubon. Even if any of you guys used to get CCS, it's crazy. Like the old CCS magazine, I still have all of mine. But um, you can sell those for like 40 bucks a piece, 30, 40 bucks a piece on eBay. I probably have like... I don't know, 50 plus of those. I, I, I like, I, I keep a lot of stuff. So like every single pair of skate shoes I've ever had, I have the shoe box for it. So like some of those, you can actually just sell the empty box on eBay. Like I have like the old Ed Templeton America boxes, the Ronnie Krieger S box, like all of that stuff. And um, it definitely has some value to it. They're all flattened in my parents' closet along with a bunch of other crap that they're probably pissed about. But Joey Bart, Nick Allen, every single pair of trucks I ever skated, every single wheel... Every shoelace I ever ripped, which was a lot of shoelaces, I kept for some weird reason. I have every deck I ever skated, so I have, like, decks. I started back in 1999, 
So like I have this big huge deck pile. There's probably like 160 or so decks that are most of them are cracked or broken, but uh, within the last like probably 10 years, there's a lot of ones that just like were just beat and worn. But I kept all those and I'm like, someday I'm going to build like my coffin out of these or like a house out of these or something like <laughs> something really mature and ridiculous like that. Aaron Savali. But I'd like to, I don't know, I'd like to maybe post some skating related stuff on here at some point if anyone has any interest which most people probably don't because baseball and skateboarding are two completely different things with two completely different audience bases there's a kino rookie card first time seeing that daniel lynch black and white cantillo spencer howard and alec thomas coffin will be 90 tops cards <laughs> the final two packs stay away from the dollar nacho talk Talk over and talk about it's deadly. Ulrich Bajarski, Cal Mitchell, Dustin May rookie card. They really reused uh, that photo of him over and over again, or so it seems like it. Montero, Randy Rosarena, check that out. Very nice. That's a hot one. First time seeing that in this box. Jackson Rutledge, Royce Lewis, Foil, Julio Rodriguez, and Anthony K. Joe B, what's up? Yeah, I didn't want to come. Well, thank you for being honest, man. James says, I used to skate to the grocery store steal jumbo, jumbo upper deck packs that had the silver sluggers in them. Nice. Like 91, 92 upper deck silver sluggers. Nacho fries are still good, though. I had nacho fries yesterday with guacamole, and it was kind of gross. I don't know if I'd ever do it again. Isan Diaz on the back of this next pack. Nick Solak, rookie card. Will Wilson, Zach Thompson, Nolan Gorman. There's Bruce Targaratarol. Tim Kate, Kate. Who knows how the pronunciation of that is. I could not tell you. Raleigh Green. Matt Manning. There is Anthony Volpe again. And Isan Diaz, rookie card. <laughs> Justin Williams says, you know it's a live screen party. Once Taco Bell comes up. I didn't go to Taco Bell today, and I'm ashamed of myself for it. I, like, thought about it, but then I didn't go. Shame on me. Final pack for Jordan P. And takes us to the very last stack. The final six. And that's for Josh Dunnick. Put that to the side. Take a quick second to recognize our sponsor, Zevia. Hopefully soon to be sponsor. Maybe someday. That would be amazing. Yeah, I guess I did have Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah, shame on me for that. Josh, good luck to you. Beyond Sausage is freaking amazing. If you haven't had it, try it. It's good. I get the Beyond Sausage. I put hash browns on it. It's freaking good. Jeremy Pena, Taylor Trammell, Trammell, Trent Grisham rookie card is a nice one. Dom G says the guacamole nacho fries did not work as one product is natural and the other is the opposite of that. Got to keep them separated. Offspring reference from Smash. Yeah, you can't beat that. Trent Grisham, Don West being brought up in this stream. Got to pay homage to Don West. Scotty Arms is Beyond Sausage is very good. It plays the part well. That's, that's all I buy is Beyond stuff. It's, it's a little more expensive, but uh, that's all I've been buying for a while. Aaron Shortridge, Travis Swaggerty, Junior Fernandez, Clark Schmidt, and we have our numbered card, Ronaldo Hernandez, 44 to 199. Very nice. And Jeff McNeil, second year card. First pack down, the final stack. Boom slags in the house. I just got here. I demand you start over so I can get caught up. <laughs> I wish it worked that way. I wish we can go back in time. One of these days, I'm going to figure out how to do that, and I, I don't know if I'll tell anybody else or not. One of these days, we will do that. So I find a wormhole somewhere. Jack Flaherty, Antonio Cabela. Scotty says, we have Publix here. We get uh, buy one, get one deals all the time. That's sweet. Publix used to freak me out because I would drive by in other states and see it, and I always thought it was pubics. And it was very off-putting. I don't know why. I just think it was me looking real quick. And why is that store named pubics? That's kind of uh, odd. Reese Hoskins. 
That's not a joke either. I, I literally thought it was called pubics <laughs> for a while. Willie Adamas, Logan Gilbert, and a numbered Brady Singer. This is 66 out of 75 for Josh and Matt Chapman. Very nice. Very nice. <laughs> pubics best sub. Public's best sub. I have heard that. There's probably a wormhole in the attic. Yeah, Corey sent me a picture of his attic earlier. And, yeah, you probably do have a wormhole in your attic, Corey. But Corey sent me a picture. This is his attic. Can you see that? That's that's a picture of his attic. Jeez. <laughs> Talk about a slub. Four packs left. Josiah Gray in the back. Travis Demerit rookie card. <laughs> Paul L. Austin Dio, Seth Brown rookie card. Bobby Witt Jr. <laughs> don't don't let the fire <laughs> don't catch wind of that. The fire department. Yeah, Corey, take heed of everyone's recommendations and advice here. Garcia, Brian Reynolds, black and white, Hayes. And a numbered Andrew Vaughn. That's a nice one. 67 out of 199. Very nice. And Josiah Gray. Very nice. Andrew Vaughn. Josh. Could be stoked about that one. <laughs> we know what the ghost boss have stored all the ghosts now in, in that attic. Yeah, there's definitely a lot of Kyle Ripken cards in that attic. <clears throat> Lots of Kyle Ripkins. Corey, you should be ashamed of yourself, man. Zach Brown. There's Cody Bellinger. Like that one. Cameron. Weird looking card of Nick Bennett in his flood pants. Tristan Lutz. Grayson Rodriguez. Joe Beasley. I have no clue who these guys are. I don't know much after J.D. Drew. I am glad that uh, somebody else is with me here. There's Cody. I don't know how to pronounce a lot of these prospects' names. Zach Gallon rookie card, though. That's definitely a nice one. And Austin Beck. Lutz is a PC guy for Austin. You think I would know that because I watch your videos, but I did not know that. Learn something new all the time. There's Mike Yaz. Yeah, Corey, you should definitely um, listen to what Brittany's saying. Scotty says, I miss Dave Durango. Whatever happened to him? Alberto. Tanner. There's Nolan Arenado. Nolan Jones. Max Muncie. Robert Paulson. Or Paul Poisson. <laughs> Try to get fancy with it and completely butchered that guy's name. Bayron Laura, Frankie Lindor, and Mike Yaz. <laughs> Boom Slank says, you know your toy room is exactly like the attic photo. Please confirm for us. Toy room is pretty haggard. You don't want to see it. It's a it's a work in progress, but um I don't know. Do I want to show it to you guys? Nah, I don't know. It's pretty bad, guys. Maybe we won't show that. Last pack here. It is pretty. It's pretty awful. <laughs> Samson, Samson. I know it was way off. Swammy, Swami. Matt Boyd, Ethan Hankins, Lucas Giolito, Whit Merrifield, Matt Manning, Alex Young, rookie card, Riley Green, Tavares, and we have a numbered card here. It is Braylon Marquez. 94 out of 199. And Nico Horner rookie card. Not a bad way to end that box. So one autograph in that box. Not too shabby. An autograph and a freaking printing printing plate. Can't uh, can't complain at all. Marquez is a good name. I do know that. I do know that one. That one is that one was a nice one. Josh Donick, you had a good stack. I feel like everyone had pretty good stacks. They either had rookie cards, printing plates. Or um, even autographs, so not bad at all. These boxes were, I don't know what they are now. They're probably around the same price, but I think I paid 160 some dollars for this. Close to 170 I think. They were available on Tops.com. Now they're available on eBay. And they're definitely fun, though. We picked off, we didn't get the Yurdon rookie card out of there. We did get Kyle Lewis. We got Luis Robert and a bunch of other ones. And, of course, they have that legendary 92 Bowman design that I love and I'm sure most of us love. If you were alive back in that era. Brittany says, did something just shatter? Yeah, there's stuff just shattering all over the place. 
Guys, there's like a there's a freaking vintage avalanche in here. But that is it for tonight. <laughs> Joe B says 170 bucks. Come on, man. That's like six bucks of 90 tops. Well, you'll be in you're in luck because 90 tops rip is coming very soon. I have three boxes and we're opening one of them in a couple days. Um maybe tomorrow, maybe Saturday. I don't know, but if we have to open these, we have to find that no name on front. Even though I've been discouraged by several people to stop looking for this. I am not going to back down. We are going to continue the search for that legendary era card. So I hope you will join me for that at some point uh, in the next couple of days. And then maybe someday we'll do an auction. I know I've told you guys that um, that's going to happen multiple times and it doesn't happen. But uh, one of these days I'll get organized and we will do an auction soon. So <laughs> thanks again, guys, for being here. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please uh, hit that subscribe button. If you're not subscribed already, hit the bell to, so you get notified of all the videos we post. And also, uh, if you like the video, please hit the thumbs up video or the thumbs up. And um, hopefully, I'll see you guys all next time. All right, guys.